right, everyone, good to see you. Thanks for stopping by and checking this video out. Uh, we're going to go back to uh, some Hootie and the Blowfish from Cracked Rear View. This, I believe, was the first single off that album. I guess the intro to, to Hootie and the Blowfish. This was the first song, Hold My Hand. Uh, great tune. Could be a little tricky at times because you're using a lot of bar chords. And maybe at the end here, I'll throw the capo on. I think it's the second fret where it worked itself out nice. If you wanted to play just some open chords. So I'm going to wing that one. We'll see if it works or not. I don't know. But... It's in the key of B, at least I think it's in the key of B, um, and you're playing, again, there's a B chord, but it's in the, in the chorus where you guys can go to traditional B chord, um, but the the verse is a B suspended too. You know, again, very uh, Rush, Alex Lifeson, like, okay, uh, and then an E are the main uh, chords going back and forth in that in that verse. Right, so what are we doing there? So uh, number one, the um, the rhythm would be if we play the chords. That's the verse. I mean, I, it, it could be a little boring, I guess, but it's pretty simple. That B suspended two right there. Right to an E. With a little love and some tenderness. Right, there's your verse. And then as that progresses, there's the electric guitar uh, that's playing that riff. So pretty straightforward. I mean, if you're playing solo acoustic, maybe you're not going to do it, but it's all based around the B chord here. Okay, so if we take this full bar, all six strings B, let's just strip it down to a triad right here. Those three right there. That's what the riff is going to be based around. So we're going to slide into, I don't know what that is. We're going to be on the G string on the eighth fret. So I guess that's, I don't know, an E flat possibly? I don't know. I should learn this. Uh, right into there. So we're going to slide into that third string on the eighth fret. And then we're going to go to the second string, seventh fret. Back to our first starting point on the eighth fret. And then we're going to go to the ninth fret of the B string. So I, uh, depending on the mood I'm in, I will either use my ring finger or my, my, my pinky for that note. Whatever works for you. There's no law. It, it's just whatever's comfortable. So it's 8th fret on the 3rd string, G string. 7th fret on the B string. Back to the G string on the 8th fret. And we're going to the ninth fret of the B string. We're going to repeat that pattern, everything except for the final note. So it's... Again, and the new note we're going to now is the ninth fret of the D string, which is the root, the B. And there you have that triad I was telling you about. There's the B. So all together. That's the riff right there being played. So right there you've got your verse, and there's going to be a pre-chorus, which is going to be starting on an F sharp to the E to a B. Full B here, full bar chord, okay? This is where I was saying it could get a little tricky if you're not into your bar chord. Okay, and that's what, we'll, at the very end here, we'll throw the capo on here. I think we can make it work. I'm going to try. It may or may not work, but we'll find out. So we've got the, the, the verse also your intro to the riff to the pre-chorus and let me just show you something I'm actually playing the E in an untraditional type of way I'm playing my F sharp and I go right to the E but sometimes I just like to go from here all I'm doing is just moving 
this chord to the E position, and I'm not using my index finger. That's all. Um, I'll, it'll vary. Right, like that, or... So that pre-chorus, and then you're going to go back into the verse before the chorus. So it's a little tricky. Just listen to the tune. I know it's kind of hard to see the way I have my fingers positioned, but really, there's a B suspended too. I know this finger tends to float up here, so you don't really get to see it, but it's really just a traditional B suspended too. And then we're going to get into the chorus. Well, let's, let's do the pre-chorus again. One time, and again, then we go to the chorus. Hold it, F sharp. So all we're doing there is we just flip flopped the pre-chorus and the chorus. So instead of starting on that F sharp, we're just gonna start on the B. My E chord is still gonna be that middle chord to the F sharp. Pretty similar to first of all. So uh, every second time you do the chorus, when you get to that F sharp, I'm pretty sure from what I remember and what I've heard. I'm going to lift up my pinky and I'm going to bring it down to the fifth fret of the B string. You hear that? So we got this chord, but I'm going to take this finger down and move it down here. So it'll sound like this. There's one. So I believe that's kind of an accent and I'll throw it in there from what I remember. Um, and all that is, again, you're on the B string, uh, and I believe that is in, what is that, C, D, it's an F, F sharp, F, it's right there, it's that note right there, uh, fifth fret, B string right there, so, um, right, it's right there, so, that's the note, so, and I think for the most part, that's the song, there is a solo, uh, that I don't have ready for right now, but it's, you know, you, you can kind of stick in that B, but I believe there's some some movement here in the uh, the fourth position in uh, uh, the box right here. I believe you can play it right there. I don't remember off the top of my head now. But again, you can stay in that B shape pretty pretty easily. I think. there but you get it you can kind of you know mess around with it there you know make it your own uh you know if you want to i could probably throw something together real quick if i sit down and do it if you want to let me know but that's just kind of again if you're doing solo acoustic you may not need to but if you got something else if you want to kind of just jam it out um i think you know again you can hang in that b again root third fifth And I'm just, I'm, I'm literally just winging that as I go, right? So just an idea, but that's the chord structure right there. Again, as I mentioned, there's a lot of bar chords. So if I take a, a capo and we're going to, this is going to be on the fly here. Let's see if we can do this. Um, you've got to remember that what we're doing is the capo now is, again, this is my intro, B, right? Okay. So if I want to now get rid of this bar, I will put the capo there. I still have got my, it's an A shape, but it's still in the key of B because of where I'm set up. So, so I can go from here with this shape, which is still a B, but it's an A suspended shape, to the E, to the E here, which is a D shape. So I'm playing here and I'm playing that. I mean, I'm actually took my finger off to make it a suspended too. I don't know if it sounds any better or not.
So it's an option if you can't get the bar chords. I mean, obviously the bar chords are, are more true to the tune, but if you've got to get creative, you can do it that way. It's one way to do it. And then the, uh, so it'll be. So again, it would be the pre-chorus would be. Then you would just re reverse it for the, uh, I guess for the um, the chorus. I mean, no. Yeah. So again, B to the E to the F sharp. Again, those are the the the, the roots that we're in. So if I was doing shapes, it's going to be A D E. I'm just trying to keep it straight with the uh, the, the, the keyword, but that's how you would do it, I guess, if you wanted to do it without the um, using you know bar chords. If, you, if you're not quite there yet, you could pull it off this way. I think somewhat simply, but at least you can do it and, and kind of you know be able to play the tune. So hopefully you liked it. Uh, fun tune, great album, actually, it's a fantastic album. If you're not familiar with it, you gotta check it out. There's a lot of good tunes on there, and as like I said, as I'm thinking about it, there's a big probably two or three other ones I'm gonna do. Um, you know, time is another one for sure. I, I love that song. So I think we're going to do that one too, but, uh, thanks for hanging. Thanks for checking it out. I will see you on the next video. Take care. Bye.